Have you ever dreamed of starting your own business? Imagine the thrill of being your own boss, calling the shots and reaping the rewards of your hard work. Picture the excitement of turning a spark of an idea into a thriving, successful enterprise. These are the dreams that fuel the entrepreneurial spirit and have given birth to some of the most innovative and impactful businesses of our time. Starting a business can be one of the most rewarding experiences of your life. It's a journey filled with potential and promise, yet it can also be a path riddled with challenges and uncertainties. It's not just about having a good idea, it's about transforming that idea into a sustainable business model, navigating the complexities of the market, and continuously adapting to change. That's where we come in. This video is here to guide you through the process of starting a business, breaking it down into clear, manageable steps. We're here to demystify the journey, shedding light on the different aspects you'll encounter along the way, from planning your business and understanding the legalities, to securing financing, building your team, and finally launching your venture. It's important to remember that every business is unique, and your journey might not look exactly like someone else's. But by understanding the fundamental steps involved, you can navigate this path with greater confidence and clarity. Starting a business is more than just a dream, it's a process. It's about taking that initial idea and nurturing it, shaping it, and guiding it until it becomes a reality. It's about having the courage to take that first step, the tenacity to keep going when things get tough, and the vision to see the potential in every opportunity. So whether you're dreaming of opening a boutique cafe, launching a tech startup, or introducing a new product to the market, this video is for you. It's for the dreamers, the doers, the innovators, and the trailblazers. So are you ready to turn that dream into reality? Every great startup begins with a solid plan. A business plan is not just a document that you need to convince investors or secure loans, it's your business's strategic blueprint. It's the tool that transforms your abstract ideas into tangible strategies. It's your roadmap, guiding your business journey from inception to growth. Let's dissect what makes a good business plan. First off, an executive summary. This is your elevator pitch on paper. It should encapsulate what your business is about, your vision, mission, and the unique proposition that sets you apart from the competition. It's your business in a nutshell, make it compelling. Next, market analysis. Understand your market environment. Who are your customers? What do they need? Who are your competitors? What are they offering? What's the market size? Answering these questions will help you position your business accurately, allowing you to meet customer needs effectively while differentiating from competitors. Thirdly, organization and management. This section outlines your business structure. Who's in charge of what? What are their credentials? How does their experience contribute to your business success? Your team's competence can be a major selling point, so don't shy away from showcasing it. Moving on, service or product line. What are you selling? Is it a product, a service, or both? Describe it in detail. Explain how it benefits the customer and why it's superior to alternatives. Remember, customers buy benefits, not features. Then, marketing and sales. How will you attract and retain customers? What's your pricing strategy? How will you distribute your product or service? Your marketing and sales strategy should be customer-centric, prioritizing their needs and preferences. Lastly, financial projections. This is where you get to the numbers. How much will you make and spend? When will you break even? Investors and lenders will scrutinize this section closely, so make sure your projections are realistic and well-supported by data. Remember, a well-thought-out plan sets the foundation for your business success. This is your dream, your vision brought to life. Let your business plan be the guiding light on your journey to entrepreneurial triumph. Now, let's tackle the not-so-exciting but equally important aspect of starting a business, the paperwork. First off, we have the registration of your business name. This step is a bit like asking someone to the prom, you want to make sure no one else has asked your chosen name out first. You'll need to check with your state's business database to ensure your desired name isn't already taken. Once you've landed on an available one, register it to make it officially yours. Next, we move on to permits and licenses. Think of these as your business's passport and visa, allowing it to legally operate in certain places and carry out certain activities. The specific permits and licenses you'll need depend on your location and the nature of your business. So do your homework and don't be shy about reaching out to your local chamber of commerce or small business administration office for guidance. And now we arrive at tax obligations. Now I know tax isn't everyone's favorite topic, but it's as unavoidable as the sunrise. 
you'll need to apply for an Employer Identification Number or EIN from the IRS. This is essentially your business's social security number. Beyond that, you'll need to understand the types of taxes your business will be obligated to pay. These may include income, sales, property, and employment taxes, among others. You may also want to consider hiring a business lawyer or accountant to help navigate these waters. They can provide invaluable advice and ensure you're not missing any critical steps or documents. Yes, it's an added expense, but think of it as an investment in the longevity and legality of your business. Remember, every form you fill, every permit you obtain, every tax obligation you understand, gets you one step closer to transforming your dream into a fully functional, law-abiding business. Yes, paperwork can be daunting, but it's a crucial step in making your business a legal entity. A dream and a plan are great, but without funds, they remain just that. So, let's dive into the various methods of financing your business. The first one on our list is bootstrapping. This is all about self-financing. It's about digging into your own savings, using your personal credit cards, or even leveraging your home. While this method may not be for everyone, it can be a strong starting point. It shows potential investors down the line that you're committed and willing to take risks. Next up, we have loans. These can come from a variety of sources such as banks, credit unions, and even online lenders. There's a whole world of loans out there, from microloans for small, short-term funding needs to large-scale business loans. Remember though, with loans come interest rates and a responsibility to repay, so tread carefully. Grants are another avenue to explore. These are essentially free money given out by government bodies, corporations, and foundations. They're usually tied to specific industries or causes and can be a great way to fund your business without taking on debt. But bear in mind, competition for grants can be fierce and the application process can be time-consuming. Lastly, we have investors. This could be anything from angel investors who are individuals willing to invest in promising startups, to venture capitalists who represent firms that invest large sums of money in exchange for equity. Crowdfunding is another form of investment that has gained popularity in recent years, where you raise small amounts of money from a large number of people. Each of these methods has its own pros and cons, and what works for one business might not work for another. It's all about finding the right fit for your specific situation. So, do your due diligence, research each option thoroughly, and perhaps even seek out advice from financial advisors or other entrepreneurs. Finding the right financing option can fuel your business and keep it running through thick and thin. No one builds a successful business alone. That's right, the journey of entrepreneurship is not solitary. It's about building a team that shares your vision and passion. A robust team can be the engine that drives your startup forward, turning your business dreams into reality. So, why is a team so crucial? Well, it's simple. You, as an individual, can't possibly be an expert in everything. You might have a fantastic idea, but you need people with different skills and expertise to execute it. You need marketers, programmers, financial experts, and many others to fill in the gaps. Finding the right partners and advisors is equally important. They bring in a wealth of experience, provide guidance, and can help navigate the choppy waters of the business world. They can be your sounding board, your reality check. Also, remember, hiring isn't just about filling roles. It's about finding individuals who share your vision and can contribute to your company's culture. Remember, a strong team can be your greatest asset. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for, launching your business. This is where the rubber meets the road, where your ideas and dreams start to take physical form. It's the culmination of all your hard work and planning, but it's also just the beginning. A strong launch is critical. It sets the tone, it sets expectations, it creates a buzz, an excitement that can catapult your business into the spotlight. This is your moment to shine, your moment to show the world what you've created. But remember, a launch isn't just about publicity. It's about getting those first customers through the door. It's about delivering on your promises and proving your business's worth. It's about building relationships, about earning trust. And above all, it's about taking that first step into the unknown, about embracing the challenge and the opportunity that lie ahead. And there you have it. You're now ready to take the leap and start your own business. Before we wrap up, let's quickly recap what we've learned. We began with turning a dream into reality, then moved on to planning your business, which forms the backbone of your venture. We covered the legalities and paperwork, a crucial, albeit tedious, part of the process. 
Financing your business came next, followed by the art of building your team. We then dove into launching your business, the culmination of all your hard work. Remember, starting a business is a journey, not a destination. Stay resilient, stay motivated, and most importantly, enjoy the ride. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.